Hello everyone, welcome to Sergeant Major's Home. My channel is about barbecue, food, cooking, and of course, eating. I'm not a professional, just a regular guy with a passion for food and cooking. For those that are new to my channel, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. As for those returning, thank you, and it's good to see you back again. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, as I will read and respond to them all. And now, for today's episode. Welcome back to another episode of Sergeant Major Smoke, ladies and gentlemen. This, this cook is going to be a chili. It's not the normal way I do it. Like most people, I think. I watch YouTube, get some different ideas. Let's try something out. You know what, Texas-based chili is all meat? Well, I'm a bean guy. I like beans. I love beans, as we already know. My chili always has beans. But I'm going to try a bit differently. I'm going to cook some meat. It'll be probably filmed over a couple days, probably. I'll cook the meat today. Let it chill. Because I want to smoke it for like the 6-8 hour mark. So it depends on timing. So it could be later on today, it could be tomorrow, it could be the next day. But I'm going to cook the meat today. And I want to go through all the ingredients today that I probably will use. And again, normal Joe, don't want to get creative, very easy. So I got 600 grams of just, this is lean ground beef. And it's fine to be lean because I got my bacon love, bacon juice over there, bacon oil. Okay, so it's about 600 grams, which is 1.3 pounds. And I got some sirloin top roast. Uh, this is 694 grams, so one and a half pounds. That was seven bucks, that was six bucks. Not that it really matters in this case. Whatever you have available. I just want to do something above and beyond just ground beef. Uh, I had another cut of steak that I cooked half it before. It wasn't super, it wasn't a good cut. Uh, but I actually ate it last night for supper. I was going to put that in because the idea is that I want to smoke this slowly for like I said six, eight hours. To, and not break down anything. So we got obviously our bacon oil, good old no name chili spice. I love the aroma, love the flavor. Bulk barn. I got a can of uh, stewed tomatoes. I'm not gonna add any spices. So besides the chili powder, sorry. Whatever this flavor profile is, aroma, and I may not add all this stuff. I may not add like a whole container of it. So, stewed tomatoes, these are spicy. As long as they get hot, I like hot food, so I'm good to go with that. Diced tomatoes. I can also add the chili sauce. We all know I love my chili sauce. Uh, these diced tomatoes with Italian spices. Two types of beans. Typical dark red kidney beans. And a six bean blend. I like to change it up. What I think might happen is make it a little bit too soft. But we'll see. Corn. Years ago, a place I used to work little canteen they used to have corn and chili I like it so I'm gonna add it I normally don't but I'm going to can of mushrooms again I'm going can good central except what I can't have cans uh, herb and spice tomato paste this is some chopped green chilies again get that kick normal jalapenos obviously some onions and jalapeno, fresh jalapeno, that'll go into the chili itself. I'll probably fry some of these up today. Uh, what I didn't dig out, obviously, celery. I like celery, so I'm going to have a, a strip or two of that. So I just wanted to discuss all this now, so we're not doing it when we're actually cooking. So next time you see me, I'm not going to film the whole meat process because that's not the point of the video, the point of the video is the chili itself, but I'll show you somewhat of it. So next time you see me, we'll be outside. Okay, so, I have an entire can of corn, entire can of mushrooms, and say maybe, you know, a good handful of jalapenos, the pickled jalapenos, two celery stalks, two onions, Obviously my glorious bacon love over there. And my meat. Uh, 
it's cold. It's like minus 13 Celsius with the wind chill. So about uh, 8.6 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Same deal, little briquettes. And yeah, notice my water is frozen. I don't care what it looks like. It's just to put moisture in the air. And I just used this yesterday. So it's good. Hardwood clump. And obviously I'm going to use this bad boy to fry up the meat. Except for obviously the, the roast which I'm going to cook. So we'll come back. I'm just give me a little bit of an update. So I got my briquettes on. It's cold, so again, you're finding the you're finding the weather. Uh, we're gonna heat that six quart up, and I'll start with the ground beef and those veggies that I got cut up. So we'll be back. That time is getting hotter. But again, you're finding the temperature. So let's get some bacon love in here. I'm also going to get my sirloin tip on. That's going to take longer, obviously, so I'll just put it off to the side for now. Alright, that means the salary. We know this stuff is all going to reduce down, right? Jalapenos, corn, and mushroom. Get it all in there. Get hot. I'll come back and just keep stirring it. I'm not going to film this. It's cold, so it's probably going to kill the batteries and the camera. But I'll come back and just take some, some stills and a little bit of video. This will be, like I said, obviously a long process, long cook, but that's okay because it's something different. I love to experiment. So we'll be back. Here, that's the book. Let's have a little update. Come along nicely. We know that ground beef has to be cooked to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll convert it to Celsius up top. Let's come along nicely. I'm not worried about draining the, uh, the fluid away yet. It might not. That's going to be cooked up. For the veggies, get them reduced a bit. A little brown, not burnt, but a little brown. You know, our sirloin, the roast here, needs to be 145. You may or may not be able to tell. It's really more indirect cooking in this stage. I'll leave it, it's not ready to flip over yet. When it does cook, I'm gonna chill it, cube it, and now I'll go in the chili. I'm just using the six quart, the six quart here to fry up my ground beef and veggies. And then once these are both done, get a drink of java. Once they're both done, what I'm going to do is uh, let, let all the meat cool, and we'll go from being over charcoal. We're going to go start smoking, and I'll use my Dutch oven with the cover off. Like I said, I'm looking at probably six to eight hours. Want to break down, get really nice and tender and juicy, and whatnot. Well, just an update. We'll be back. So my ground beef and veggies, they're pretty much where they want to be. So I moved them off, off the side. I put my sirloin roast on. As you see, 32 degrees. Nowhere needs, or nowhere needs to be close to that 145. 
I know that's going to take a while. That's okay. Like I said, this will be a long cook. So just to show you, most of the liquid is gone. A little bit left in it, but it evaporated off. So I'm just going to get this is This is done. I'm going to take it off in a minute. Put it inside and just let it sit. And also that will allow more heat to get to the... Uh, roast. I can't wait to eat this. It's either going to be delicious or it's going to be not so delicious, but I think it's going to be fantastic. We'll be back. Okay, so I just checked the sirloin roast and we're hovering around 57 degrees. Again, we need to take it to 145. I know it's going to take a while, that's fine, so I'm just getting ahead of the game. Very first thing, the cast iron is cold. It should be warm, but eh, it'll warm up on the cast on the uh, smoker. Bacon love. Look at that. Oh, glorious. Add that little bit of flavor. Now, I didn't tell you, I don't think I told you, I rinsed off the canned corns. I'm not a big fan of canned goods in generally, but I wanted to try this one very differently. I didn't want to soak my beans, uh, I didn't want to make my own tomato sauce. Just basic stuff. So I did rinse off the corn. I don't like the smell. I like the. I don't like how it is. So I have my kidney beans. I did rinse them off as well. And my chilies. Add that gorgeous love in there. And this is my diced tomatoes with Italian spices. So let's see. Let's go oh, look at that. Ground beef mixture now. Put that bad boy in there. But don't worry, there'll be room for the sirloin steak roast. Sirloin roast. Oh, look at that. This is the, the biggest pan, so I want to make sure I have room. So the roast will be on top, so I definitely need some more tomatoes. I'm going to add some chili spice. And of course, I'm going to add a beer. But here we are for now. I think I will add uh, maybe the spicy red peppers. A little more tomato we feel to it. Maybe the tomato paste, maybe both. We'll see. And I might also add stuff as we go along to cook. Or sorry, as we cook through the smoker. But I would like this to uh, evaporate a bit first before I add too much more besides the steak. So I'm just going to let this sit here, do its thing. I'll put the cover on it, let it be a dude, and we'll come back. So it's just something completely non related but related. So you saw this pan with some barbecue. So I rinse it off with water while it's still hot. Add some simple lard. Got to season it. I'm just going to rub this bad boy down. So heat it up. Not to burn it, just to get the pot hot, get the pores expanding. Right, so we know heat expansion, cold constricts. Think uh, Seinfeld and shrinkage. Okay, so I'll give this a wipe down. Sorry, I'm just filming with one hand here. I'll let it sit. So now I got the burner off. It's still hot. Let it bake in, give it a wipe down. And there's my other cast iron that I use inside, outside all the time with a well-oiled base. Okay, just a little sidebar, but some people have asked about maintenance, so every once in a while I like to talk about it. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so we're at temperature now, 163. In here, I'm sure I can get a different temperature or go somewhere else. This is probably going to show me. Yeah, 161. So we're done. Take it inside, let I can leave it outside, let it cool. Then I'll cube it and get in my chili. Meanwhile, I'll let this burn down because I gotta set it for the smoke. Okay, we'll be back. So what I'm gonna try to do here, because these are still good, some good charcoals. I'm gonna have to light more briquettes up. I don't wanna waste it. I'm gonna put the Dutch oven right here anyway. So a little bit of charcoal blow it. Well, I can leave them all. It's not gonna hurt. But these should ignite. 
if I love charcoal that gets placed in here. I think, why waste stuff, right? Not made of money. And it only makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. That should work because they're still pretty hot. Then I'll throw some wood on. Get some smoke going. And next thing you'll see me cutting up the uh, sirloin and getting the, uh, the chili on. Okay, so all I'm going to do is cut this sirloin up, you know, chunks. Remember, it's still going to continue to cook in the chili. So, regardless of really what the temperature is, it's cooked enough because it's going to cook anyway. I can eat this by itself right now. It smells lovely. I'm just going to cube this up a bit, probably fast forward through some of this, and literally throw it in the chili, hoping that over the course of the day, six, eight hours, whatever it may be, I'm going to have a taste test. Look at that. Oh yeah. Save a piece of my dog. Mmm. I love cooking over charcoal. Just kind of cube it up. Again, with the intention that this is going to break down. This is going to break down and be super tender. Yes, yes, yes. My dog Riley, by the name, by the way. I'll show you to YouTube here in a second. Look at that. Beautiful. It didn't really take that long either, to tell you the truth. Uh, quicker than I thought. I was going to smoke it originally, but because I wanted to fry it, you know, and I got to set the smoker anyway, I just wiped it up three times. Now, as this does cook, I'm just going to check on it throughout the day, make sure it has that chili flavor that I want. I fully expect to add more chili spice. I'll let you know if I do. Beautiful cut of meat. I can't remember I got this. Super tender. Look at that. Big bundle of joy. Meat love. And beans. But I only had enough room to add one can of beans, so. If I had a bigger Dutch oven, I'd also like to have a bigger barbecue, but. Or a smoker. But it works. I'm actually quite impressed with this, uh, this Dutch oven. Look at that. Oh. It'd be awesome if this would just break down enough that it falls apart. Like a pulled beef. Yes, 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 you'll get some in a minute. He's hungry. And that wood did catch fire from the smoker, so it's coming up. So we should be good to go. Of course, I'm going to make a mess. But, well, that's the way it goes. Not the end of the world. Good thing about doing it outside. It wasn't so cold. I'd probably do the whole thing outside, but I have a nice wood table, so I wouldn't be worrying about burning it temperature-wise and you know melting a plastic table, which actually had happened when I cooked uh, the whole hog. It was so hot, and I, I wrapped the plastic uh, plastic table in aluminum foil. But still, look at that. This aside. Try not to scratch my table. Hopefully you can see this. It looks so good. Oh my god. I can't wait. Again, as this liquid does boil down, we'll have less space. Most of the cooking will be done with the lid off. I want to get that smoke flavor. Slow cook it. Just let it cook all day. We'll be back. Next clip will be my dog eating the meat.
Okay, here's my, sit, sit. Here's my dog, Riley. He's a little fella. He loves to bark. He got little man syndrome. But so I love to bark. He loves a bit of, a bit of steak. Sit. Sit for that. There you go. Good boy. Is it good? Yes, it is. Not doing anything to do with cooking, but you hear him barking. And you can see his face every once in a while, and I can see him. Hey, say hi. Say hi. Good boy. There you go. Bye. We got some good flames going on here. Not super hot. Well, it's under 200, so you know it's actually under 200. Spot cleared. So, I'm going to go over and... Put my Dutch oven on this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now I'm just going to let it sit. I'll add wood, I'll stir it every so often. By taking those remaining coals, it saved me lighting another chimney, but look at that. And I fully expect to add some more chili spice because I want it to be very chili-like. We'll come back every so often and just check. But now it's just a slow process, you know, really, I'm aiming for six to eight hours. Okay, so it's been an hour. More charcoal in there. Again, I don't really want the heat or the smoke, I also want the heat. Let's have a look see. Oh, look at that. Just stir it. And of course, I'm going to add one by jalapeno. Looking delicious. It's quite windy out. You may or may not be able to hear it. And it's cold, so that fights the temperature. Open up, get a bit of air movement. You see it drop real low because the door is open. Let's just have a little taste test here. I want to see how chilly it is. Mm. Really, really good. Not chilly enough, so I'm definitely going to add some. I'll give it a stir and just keep an eye on it. It's been on about three hours, showing just below 200 now. Look at our fire. A little bit of oxygen on it. The jalapeno is coming nicely. Let's have a taste test. Again, it's all cooked, however, there's a flavor profile I want. Mm. Really good. You can taste the peppers. Add a bit more chili spice. I'll mix this all in. Again, so the idea is here's a slow and low. Break up that sorrelly roast, get it super tender or more tender. Super hearty chili. Jalapeno back in. Up again. 
Pulls it up. It's good on four hours now. We're looking at 150, so we're definitely lower than that. Funny to add some more charcoal, but I'll let that get some oxygen to it. Oh my, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. Super, super hardy. Super hardy. Just give her a good stir. And by giving a good stir, I also mean give it a good taste test. I want to see how the uh, flavor profile is changing. Put my jalapeno back in. My racing spoon here. You can feel that kick. Oh. Very meaty. It's like a stew. Mm. I'm shift it close to the fire. The water has gone down quite a bit too. Wood. Probably gonna be well I want it to do at least at least six hours, so at least two hours more, maybe four, maybe take it to eight. We'll see how it is. I want it to be very, very, very tender. Not where I want it to be yet. Quite edible. It's good. You can taste the peppers. Really taste all the peppers, which is good. I like hot food. But it's not as tender as I want it to be, so let's take more time. Well, again, it's a quick update. Added the other log and charcoal. You see the flames coming. Moved it closer. A bit more heat. I'd like to just elongate, or sorry, sh shorten the process of uh, getting that really, really, really tender. We're back. So it's been just over five and a half hours now. Let's have another taste test. Why? Because I like chili. That back kick of heat. Mm. I'm gonna cook more. I want to see how tender I can get that. I'm, I think it might take it to the eight hours. I'll let you know. I pretty much think the video is probably wrapped up below. It's gonna be dark here soon, no doubt. Super delicious, super tender. Definitely try it. You get the added flavor of, of the smoking, smoking of the chili. Heavy meat, pretty easy, simple ingredients, good flavor profile. The only seasoning I actually added was just the chili spice. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet done so, please subscribe. And to be notified of my next uh, video, please hit that notification bell. Until next time, Sergeant Mary Smoke, out. All I'm going to do is just add my last piece of wood that I just happen to have out. I'll let this burn down pretty much to nothing, and that'll be the end. Okay, thanks for watching. I know I said I wasn't going to show any more, but it's been in eight hours now. Take a look. I still got lots of my fire. Temp gauge. It's below 100, so it's not too. Shabby. But look at that. Look at that. And again, I did fill up that water and, and evaporated. So that's twice I changed the water. I got my jalapeno. Oh, look how tender that is. Seven dollar bright. Oh, look at that. So good. Oh, awesome. Thank you for watching. Sorry to smoke. Okay, everyone. A slightly longer vid than I wanted it to be, but it did, again, just, just on the smoke. It was over eight hours. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, got something out of it. 
And uh, by all means, try to leave any comments or questions or any recommendations down below. Until next time, Sergeant Ray Smoke.